Sanders and Henderson will decide if they want to dig a little bit deeper into their pockets for ballot question one. In return, supporters say they'll be able to sleep better at night thanks to improved fire protection. Our Steve Wolford explains the so-called every second counts proposal. If ballot question one is approved by voters in Henderson, one of the first things that would happen would be to knock this fire station down. This is station 84 at Valley Verde in Warm Springs. It'll be replaced with a new state-of-the-art four bay fire station, but that's only the beginning of the plan to reduce response time citywide. Well, that sounds good. What are, what are your thoughts on that? That's something that sounds that, something that would be worthwhile. Zachary Shear is just learning about question one in Henderson, the so-called every second counts proposal that'll appear on the November ballot. The city council wants to let voters decide on an additional property tax of six cents per $100 of assessed value to give the fire department an additional revenue stream. But why is it needed? Our city of Henderson is absolutely blowing up with growth. Fire Captain Dan Pinkowski is the president of Henderson's Firefighters Union and says that growth has resulted in more calls and slower response times. Since 2019 alone, we have seen a 23% increase in our call volume. For the resources that we have, uh, it's dramatic. And because of its popularity for retirees, more than 20% of Henderson's population is over the age of 55, which requires fire rescue more often. Minkowski says that growing demand means Henderson Fire can only meet its critical response time of six minutes or less just 57% of the time, which he calls a failing grade. So in response to an anticipated 10,000 additional calls a year for service, Pinkowski says the additional revenue generated by ballot question one would immediately be put to use to hire more firefighters. And in uh, December, we'll hire uh, close to 40. With the new resources, we can decrease those response times by going directly to the fire department with that $12 million a year. We are going to be able to hire additional uh, members of, for the fire department and uh, the money is going to be there to get the additional resources that we need. We need the rescues, the engine companies, the truck companies. For more information on ballot question one in Henderson, you can go to everysecondcounts.vote. Again, that's everysecondcounts.vote. In Henderson, Steve Wolford, News 3. UMC